somewhat. What this video is going to be is it's not going to really be something on performance or anything of that matter. What we're going to basically do is just try and give you guys an understanding of how the part numbers work and the range of part numbers that exist for various OEM engine manufacturers. So for example, all these turbos that we've got on the table here fit the same power plant. This is the VW 1.9 TDI. Uh, one or two of these turbos on the table over here today will fit the 2 liter TDI. But in total, on the VW range, as an example, and this is the same for many of the OEM manufacturers, there's more than 30 different variants that fit the same engine, the same power plant, 1.9 TDI or 2 liter TDI. So what I want to basically do today is just cover an aspect where customers often phone us and say, hi there, I've got a 2010 VW Golf 1.9 TDI, I'm looking for a turbo. Which one? Now, it sounds like we're being resistant and we're trying to be silly about this, but in actual fact, it's a valid question because the 1.9 TDI, in the same year, depending on the horsepower and depending on the variation of components underneath the engine or underneath the bonnet in the engine bay, will determine what part number will actually appear on that engine. Now, you also have something called uh, drop-in replacements. So, on the original 1.9 TDI that was originally released, the OEM manufacturer for that was Borg Warner, and that turbo was a BV39-22, or known as a 543998800022, which is the part number. Garrett did a drop-in replacement, and their drop-in replacement copy of the physical dimensions and flow capability of the turbo um, was the Garrett 751851. Now that fits a Caddy, it fits a Beetle, it fits a Jetta, it fits a Golf, it fits a number of different applications, vehicle applications, that use exactly the same 1.9 TDI power plant. But then you get the BV39-17, 16, 19, 82, 83, etc, etc. Now that's what I want to basically go over today. So these are just some of the turbochargers that operate and fit the 1.9 and the 2 litre TDI engine power plant. I'm going to open up with some of these turbos and show you that they look exactly the same. However, there will be very small differences in terms of either a three bolt outlet coming out of the downpipe, in other words, the exhaust system that will connect up to the turbo, versus identical turbo, identical castings, a V band connection where the downpipe or the exhaust connects to the identical turbo, but the part number is different. If you supply a three bolt flange turbo to a customer who's got a V-band connection, he's not going to be able to fit the turbocharger. So for us to prevent any mistakes from being made, we normally ask the clients and we make sure up front that we do not quote you on the incorrect turbo because some of these turbos have got different prices. So we want to make sure that we don't have to put our fires later and we quote you on the correct turbo for your specific application. I'm going to go and open up some of these boxes. I'll see you back in a couple of seconds and then I'll actually show you different part numbers with turbos that look almost identical. So we've opened up four of the Borg Warner variants and we've got them on the table over here, which we're going to show you in a second. There's two additional ones which we haven't opened, which we'll do just now, but I'd like to just go over some part numbers and variants. This is a BV39-82. Part number is 5439-988-0022. That specific turbo in that box, which hasn't been unpacked yet, is a BV39-16 or 5439-988-0016. This specific one has got a different part number, BV39, indicated by the 5439 and the 0097. So here we have BV39-82, 22, 48, and 17. Now all these turbos look the same. They all come with an integrated manifold and turbine housing cast as one piece. That is a V-band outlet which connects to your exhaust. This has got a 90 degree bend on the outlet of the compressor housing. Actuator is situated in that specific position. 
the EGR valve is situated there. That's the 82, which you'll be able to see by the part number. Then we have a BV39-22. Spot the difference. Let's go over them one by one. V-band outlet, V-band outlet. EGR valve position, EGR valve position. 90 degree outlet on the comp housing, 90 degree outlet on the comp housing. The orientation of the two compressor housings are the same. The actuator is situated in the same place. The oil feed and oil outlet are situated in exactly the same place. In actual fact, they use exactly the same fittings. Exhaust is the same. Flange face is the same. Manifolds are the same. Okay, so which one fits which vehicle? Well, let's have a look at the rotating assembly. The rotating assembly on this specific turbo is completely different to the rotating assembly on this specific turbo. And that relates purely to horsepower. The turbine wheel will also be slightly different. But let's move on. Let's have a look at the 48. Yes, you can clearly see a difference here already, but we still have a V-band outlet identical to the other two turbochargers. It's the same manifold. But look at the EGR position. Look at those two. Completely different. Look at the, turbo, the compressor housing. The outlet from the compressor housing is facing a totally different direction. The actuator sits at the bottom of this turbocharger as opposed to on the top where these other two are situated. And the rotating assembly in here will definitely be different as well. So flow versus uh, horsepower, etc., will be different from this specific turbo to the other two. It still fits a 1.9 TDI power plant. Well, which one? Which one is determined by its part number? Without a turbocharger part number or a VIN number, and a lot of customers will say, yes, I have an engine number. It doesn't help, unfortunately. Without an engine, sorry, without a VIN number, or without the actual turbocharger's part number, it is impossible to accurately quote a customer on a replacement turbocharger. Let's move on to the Dash 17. Well, once again, we've got a different three bolt outlet on the exhaust as opposed to a V-band connection. The actuator is situated on top once again. EGR port is situated on top, but it's moved over to the middle of the flange face as opposed to slightly offset at an angle slightly offset and sitting higher and these two are the same and the compressor housing is completely different as well so is the rotating assembly and flow calibration and part number it still fits a 1.9 TDI power plant and so does the Dash 97 and so does the Dash 16 we haven't even got to Garrett yet. There's a number of Garrett turbos which look identical to these, which flow the same, but produce slightly different results in terms of horsepower, as well as EGR location and or compressor housing orientation and or actuator spring rate and or three bolt outlet versus V-band. So these turbochargers, although at first glance look the same because they all have a manifold attached, they are completely different, every single one of them. These two turbochargers are able to be interchanged. However, because the one turbocharger produces more power and more flow, your ECU calibration in terms of injection, etc., is calibrated for the correct turbo. If you swap them without changing any calibration, you're going to pick up engine lights, you're going to pick up limp mode, you're going to pick up all sorts of errors, and the car's going to go into limp, it's going to break down on the side of the road. Um, it's just an absolute nightmare. Why do you want to go and have to put out fires after the event instead of actually identifying which is the correct turbocharger up front and getting the correct one to fit onto the vehicle? Um, I've just unpacked some of the turbochargers. We literally have over 30 variations for the 1.9 and 2 litre TDI engines. We have the majority of them in stock, obviously the popular moving items. Um, however, please don't get frustrated with us when you do ask us for a price on a turbocharger and we respond asking for a part number or a VIN number. All we're trying to do is make sure we don't lead you astray and we provide you with the correct part and the correct product first time every time so that we don't frustrate you and your customers if you're, if you're a dealer. 
I hope it was in, uh, uh, informative. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave us some comments down below. Subscribe. Click on the like button. And uh, we'll, we'll see you next time.